Echolocation, also known as biosonar, is sound waves sent out by certain animals to detect objects around it. One example of an animal that uses echolocation is a bat. Bats send out high-pitched clicks, which bounce off an object and return to it. The bat can then determine how far away the object is. Other than the distance, they can also use echolocation to determine things such as texture, shape, and size of the object. This helps them locate their prey and decipher the objects around them. The Doppler effect has a major importance to bats, because when there is some non-zero relative velocity between the bat and the target, they will hear a Doppler shifted echoes of the pulses they produce. If the bat and the target are approaching each other, the bat will hear an echo that is higher in frequency than the call it produced. If they are moving away from each other, the bat will hear an echo that is lower in frequency than they call it originally produced. It is important that the bat be able to detect and be extremely sensitive to these echoes so that it can determine properties about the target object. When an echolocating bat approaches the target, its outgoing sounds return as echoes, which are Doppler shifted upward in frequency. In certain species of bats, which produce constant frequency echolocation calls, the bats compensate for the Doppler shift by lowering their call frequency as they approach a target. This keeps the returning echo in the same frequency range of the normal echolocation call. This dynamic frequency modulation is called the Doppler shift compensation and was discovered by Hans in 1968. The Doppler effect is an increase or decrease in the frequency of sound light, or other waves as the source and the observer move towards or away from each other. This effect causes the sudden change in pitch noticeable in a passing siren as well as the redshift seen by astronomers. The Doppler effect was named after Christian Doppler, an Austrian physicist who first proposed it in 1842. Echolocation is also used by some humans. Daniel Kish lost his eyes at the age of 13 months because of retinal cancer. He learned to make platinal clicks with his tongues when he was still a child. And now he trains with other blind people in the use of echolocation in what he calls perceptual mobility. Daniel is able to use echolocation to get around every day and he can even distinguish a metal fence from a wooden one by the echoes on the arrangement of the fence structures. Many other people such as Ben Underwood and Kevin Warwick have also mastered the use of echolocation. Overall, echolocation is a phenomenal biological technology that makes use of the Doppler effect. Many animals, including humans, make use of echolocation and even rely on it to survive. <laughs>